Hello, this is another Hardy instruction video. In this video, we'll go through the basic startup procedure of a new sprayer. This commander sprayer is fitted with a twin force boom and an ISO controller, but the procedure for starting up is similar also to the Ranger and Navigator sprayers. For more specific information, you'll need the instruction book, uh, but let's first start by uh, walking around the sprayer to find out where things are located. Up here we have the spray pressure gauge and a gauge to indicate when to service the suction filter. I can remove this bracket so you can remove the gauges and store them for winter storage. The spray pressure should normally be kept between 1.5 bar or 20 psi and 5 bar or 70 psi. You can also read the spray pressure off on the computer. Here we have the handle to drain the main tank, the mechanical tank indicator, and the lid to inspect the inside of the tank for cleanliness after you've finished the spray job. The Hardy diaphragm pump pressurizes the liquid system. There are two grease nipples that should be greased every 50 working hours. The twin force boom has uh, a uh, hydraulic drive uh, and this is located in behind the pump and you can access them by lifting the platform. Here is the uh, rinse tank indicator and the tank should be full uh, before you start spraying because it makes the sprayer more stable. Here we have a clean water tank for washing your hands and it holds 20 litres or about 5 gallons. Here is the Easy Clean suction filter. Pull, turn and lift. When you do this it closes the main valve to the tank and here you don't have any um, liquid spillage. The flaps, they help trap any debris. And the fluid system. The blue colour indicates the suction side. Here we're taking water from the main tank. Here we'll, we would be taking it from a, an external filling point and here we are taking it from the rinse tank. The green colour indicates the pressure side. So here we're indicating the, that the liquid is going to the, the boom. Here it would be going to the uh, cleaning system. Here it would be going to either the uh, turbo filler or the pressure empty system here. And here this is used when uh, we're filling the tank. This commander has the intelligence system. If we had the manual system, you would have handles here to turn the valves and the agitation valve would be located at the front. The intelligence system has a control box to operate uh, these valves. So the blue valves on the suction side are controlled from here and the pressure side, the green, is controlled from here. These three buttons are for the auto filling so you can start it, uh, you can pause it and you can uh, continue. Uh, there's a couple of buttons here to raise and lower the, the pressure at the nozzles and these two are to open or close the nozzles. The last uh, three buttons over here, the white ones, they are to manually override the pressure agitation. The connection points. This is for the pressure empty to empty the main tank. This one is for filling the rinse tank. And this one is my suction line for um, taking water into the main tank. The turbo filler is here. Squeeze, pull down. And that's there. The boom is divided into sections. We have the center section at the back of the sprayer. We have the inner section, the outer section, and then the breakaway that will fold backwards or forwards should you hit something. Under the center section, there is a cylinder 
that acts as a boom stabilization cylinder and also a pendulum lock. When you're spraying, the pendulum must be open and you can see this on the computer because there is a green or a red icon. The icon must be green when you're spraying. Track width is adjusted here and you do this of course when the sprayer is secured. Here you have the uh, centralized greasing point for the rear of the sprayer. Here is the spray control unit. I've got the flow meter here and the pressure sensor over here. On this side of the sprayer you find the chemical storage locker and also the spray gun for the external cleaning. On the front side of the locker you have the cyclone uh, self-cleaning pressure filter. There's a valve at the bottom and this is the correct position for spraying. There's a flush function and there's an off function. The handbrake and the sprayer identification plate.